Paragons. Assemble. Wait, this isn't Blaster Dread opponent Balloona Populus. I mean, we do have a lot of starting cash, but that boss speed makes it look like the Dread Balloon is on a jet. Boss health as well, double, so. It's going to be pretty menacing once it goes down to its, um, its lead properties rather than its ceramic properties. It's either Benjamin or Geraldo as your hero in a boss event. For that bonus moolah, or well, speaking of that bonus moolah, we are playing on double cash, so sorry for anybody who doesn't like double cash. Now, Winter Park is quite good for your Apex Plasma Master, because the only way in which the balls of the Apex Plasma Master can exit out of naturally is the entrance and exit of the map here. All these hedges enables projectiles like the Ultra Juggernauts, like the Apex Plasma Master, like Popsidon, to keep on bouncing around. Which is pretty snazzy if you ask me. But yes, and also we can fit eight Paragons on this boss scenario. We can fit every single Paragon into one boss event. That is a super rare scenario which we shall have which we shall use and hopefully we'll get a vtsg on the field as well it does mean that our paragon levels have to be pretty low so that we can actually accommodate for the costs yellow balloons trying to sneak their way through i don't think so we do have some spikes at the end of the field here and try and do max greed here, but obviously these regrow balloons are going to be a bit of an issue if you ask me i know i'm not popping balloons you don't have to remind me about benjamin right let's cover some defense now so that we have done some greed let's go crossbow actually three pops at a time also for those early leads we should get some lead to gold with larger potions so we can Affect them in a larger radius. Starting with a larger amount of cash in combination with a double cash mode means that we can snowball much faster into the higher tier monkey farms. And also get a monkeyopolis that bit sooner. Can we get a second BRF on the field? Yes, we can! Still on max greed mode at the moment with a lack of upgrades going on here. But I'm pretty sure that we can manage with what we've got going on here. Although I may upgrade our ninja pretty soon to deal with or to throw more shurikens. To deal with the lack of capabilities at the moment of firing a lot of shurikens. Bunch of ceramics here. They shouldn't be too much of a problem. Oh, four BRFs. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh, 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 I need you to go on first, please, crossbow. Okay, I'm going to go to sharpshooter. I'm not risking anything here. Don't want to lose my monkey farm progress so far. I might have over greedy with our farming here. We're going to get Spear of the Forest soon, but now it's going to be a matter of trying to deal with the first dread balloon tier because of the fact that it's going super duper fast and of the special fact, yes, yeah, special fact, it's, <laughs> it's got twice as much HP than usual. So we've only got 3.5k to work with. That's going to be a lot of fun right i do want a elite defender but that's definitely not going to be enough here okay semi-auto full auto rifle uh we're barely chipping away at this hp that's the problem we've got going on here it's going super fast at the moment but wait to see what it can do when it's shield is down yeah shield is down but so it's going so fast that's the problem we're having right now do we even need like a mad for this oh i mean you sell some stuff honestly oh that was a bad purchase actually i lost some several thousands so i'm gonna need to move our perma charge over here and now what not a full uh, hp um fire rate stuff like that um, I don't want to go to Spectra, but it's just trying to deal with the rest of this going on here. Perma charge ability has expired, and it's well over halfway throughout the pitch. Oh, look at this going on. Okay, we've got Spectra going on. Okay, okay, okay. It's 
kind of good at the moment, but kind of not. Our ability is about to run out here. Oh my god, this is going to be super tight here. I need another perma charge as soon as possible. Who would have think that to get through tier 1, I need perma charge. Uh, second one here. Yeah, that was super tight going on here. I'm going to keep my Spectra so that we can get our Ace Paragon for the future. But my goodness sakes, that was tight. I may even get both the Flying Fortress and the Mad for the second tier, but then we need something to clear the military tier. Hmm. Option. Oh my god, the layer of this is a bit off. I mean, that one's appearing above this one. <laughs> Look at that. Look at where the base is on that. The sooner I can get this to a monkey off this, the less... Oh, it fixed itself. It just required an upgrade, that was all. I think. Now, do we play it safe by getting two tier 5 towers, or do we risk it by going with a Monkeyopolis? You already know which option we are going to go with, considering I still have that particular option selected right now. Round 59, we have to rely on some foam here in order to get us through this particular scenario, but that's absolutely fine. Get ourselves a man, and then possibly as well a flying fortress for this scenario. Again, who would have thought that that was an unnecessary route in which we need to go through? Yeah, then get like a quick hammer charge or something. Well, here's the flying fortress option. <laughs> We're definitely going to keep you for your... Um, your contribution towards the power gun will be greatly appreciated. Okay, hammer charge down here. Hopefully this ability will come back when we are needing it to the most. Needing it the most. Uh, it's barely doing any damage though. What options do we have really? Hmm. That's a bunch of use. A Moab Eliminator. We'll go with a combination of both of those really. Moab Eliminator and that. Keep on first, so that you are always targeting that, hopefully. There we go. Yeah, Perma Charge and Moab Eliminator is going to deal with this, honestly. I need you both to take effect, please, so that you can get from this scenario. That's, I know that's not going to be of any use, to be honest. But at the moment, I need a dream to get through this. Okay, that's fine. Perma Charge you. Get through the rest of this, get through the rest of this. I need to sell this to get the perma charge back. It is really stressful in these dying times. Uh, we'll resort you back to going over here. Yeah, once we get through the military tier, I think we're good. Hopefully. Oh, gosh. Oh, uh, that's getting really close to the exit there. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not looking good. You're not going down fast enough. Uh, you're not going down fast enough. <laughs> Oh, come on. No, that's not going to be it. I hate the tears of this. Oh, no, that's not going to be it. That's not going to be it. That's too close to the exit there. Um, I'm not feeling confident about this whatsoever. I greeted too hard. Yeah, my main problem is trying to do the military tier. I need two really powerful Moab killers. Like, Moab Eliminator was fine, but it's like, outside of... Hold on, what about Spike Factory? Like, half of the spikes. Hopefully this could do it, but I'm not too sure still. Yeah, that thing's just going so quick. That's a problem. But like Ninja Kiwi's way of just... just Bending us over. Okay, maybe I just need to sell that to get Carpenter Spikes, to be honest. Carpenter Spikes and a Moab Eliminator. And something else to go along with it as well. <laughs> At this point, I'm not too sure. Yeah, the problem is that it's the, the Dreadling just moves so quickly when it's off its shielded layer. I can't get its HP down enough. Yeah, if people say that this is not designed for the sweatiest of the sweats then you are definitely a sweat. Keep you on there. Yeah, tier 2 of this is definitely going to be the hardest, honestly, because once we get to tier 3, we are in Paragon uh, territory there. And we should be able to get through the rest of this now with what we've got going on here. Get Banana Central soon enough, and uh, yeah, that's not going to be good. Hopefully with what we've got left here, it's going to be enough, but... 
again, I'm not riding out on a lot of hope here. Like, uh, it's going to be super close. I need to, I need to save us when this is going to go super fast. Um, okay, I'm going to use both of your abilities now, and hopefully we can get through this. Hopefully we can get through this. Please, I need you now more than ever. There we go. I'm actually going to keep the perma charge because I want the glaive dominus at some point. But sorry for the failed attempt there, but these things are just going to how they're going to be here. Round 68, that's not good for our farming potential. Just remember that this is a fun time, not a one-to-one -one guide on how to do this boss event. If you're looking for something like that, then this is not the correct video for you, unfortunately. Right, let's get some boats operational. And we're going to rely on you as well for more water space. Oh gosh, we've got another layer issue here. Is this exclusive to water park or is it just me? Whatever degree our dark monkey is going to be, that is one in which we are going to accept. Because we don't have a lot of money to work with. So we're about there for our dot paragon at degree 52 that's pretty good and you know how all of these projectiles are bouncing off all these walls well that's gonna be pretty good when we go up against this behemoth which will get it down to military before we can actually do anything i can't believe it but we need a legend of the night to help us out it's just against this first portion here because this is about to go past our Dark Paragon, which is not going to be good if it does do that. So put you over here now. Yeah, this is not looking good. It just has so much HP and speed. And it's going to go past you. Oh, why do you have so much resistance? Oh, this boss is on beatable it's impossible i'm gonna quickly rush our boomerang paragon for goodness sakes this is not the wisest of moves i don't even have all my tears up which i desire to be but i guess this is just gonna have to do for this uh let me just scoop up your power that's only 29 but honestly i'm gonna kind of need it you're going near the exit don't like this whatsoever do not like it one bit. We're just about managed to go through this, but I just need more power for the end of all this. We should hopefully be able to go for Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good, don't you think? Yeah. We need to start with a different kind of power gong going on here. I mean, what are you talking about? I wasn't having any trouble there at all. I'm I, I'm perfectly fine. I, I'm fine. I swear I'm fine. Ascended Shadow at degree level 29. Wait, it was 29 as well. All of the way to round 99. Now, can we get ourselves yet another Paragon? I think we can with what we've got going on here. <laughs> it's just a wall of fire over here. Get all sucked up to the Majors Perfectus, although you're only degree 28. You're going to be a wonderful degree 28. You're going to cover the beginning and cover the exit. Right, you're on military, so you should be shredded to the, by the Apex Plasma Master and all of its shenanigans. Okay, magic. That's absolutely fine. Oh my god, look at all the snowballs on the screen here. <laughs> Uh, I'm out of the most difficult sections of the game. And here is the shipwreck category. Sorry, I'm overclocking all of my uh, farms here. And I've no idea where I am or what it is I'm doing. But I'm just glad that we're past the most difficult section of the game now. Tier 4 part. So we've got the Master Builder. We've got the submarine, we've got the boat, and we've got the ace left to paragonize. I'm not going to worry about tears with the Goliath Doom Shop, honestly, because it's got so many pops that I should really make up for it. So let's see what we can do here. Degree 21, you know what, we'll take that. We'll get the final three paragons near the end here. At the end of round 119. 
two million. Getting close, but I still don't think I've got the money for it. Hopefully by the end of all this, we would be able to. Last round of war, the ultimate apocalypse. Hopefully we can do this. Hopefully, the big word is hopefully. Fine. And in all of this, we've got a grand total of 3.8 million. Now, do keep in mind that we also need to build some more of these submarine stuff to make that online. We'll do the Master Bob the Builder first at degree level... Tw what's it? 29 is at the moment. Navark of the Seas at degree level... 41. Okay, that's better. Right, let's see what our submarine is going to be here, along with our dancing sentry champion sentries. Hmm. We'll go up to two... Just, uh, just below two million. And we've got degree 30. That took it over the finish line. Sun Temple. And hopefully the true sun god from there. Uh, Superstorm is enough. Two tier 5 primaries, two tier 5 spikes, Apache Prime. Yeah, that should do it. Hopefully. Hopefully. There we go. Done that. Now a supporting Sun Temple. And that should do it when it comes to you. Okay, we've got all this money left over. Perhaps I should have invested more into power cons, but. Uh, we're going to lay where we lie. Right, do or die, this has been a great run. Thank you everybody for watching, and let's watch the absolute obliteration of our foe here together. Let's get into it. Hopefully we'll be able to set up some overclocks for our vengeful true sun god going on over here. No, that's the little one, we don't want that. Don't want that whatsoever. I should have placed you on here, actually. Can you see what's going on over here? Because I sure cannot. <laughs> Look, there's so much going on on the screen at any given point in time. You know how to discern from this, ladies and gentlemen? Right, we are barely doing any damage against this trapping. For goodness sakes, it has so many resistances. I swear to goodness sakes. It's just such a... Such a soaking sponge for all of our attacks. Like, even with eight paragons on the field, it's still more than halfway through the field here, which is not appreciative whatsoever. Oh, the green sentry paragon finally has a lock feature. <laughs> uh, the annihilation of all of them. And once you have entered. Okay, well, you're going to be on harvesting now. I want you to do a final blow to this once you are up at full graveyard. Please, this is really close. Going on here. Okay, 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 okay. This is do or die now. I'm going to unleash the nuclear missile. Hopefully, it's going to do, well, something. You usually don't do a lot nowadays, but hopefully, you're going to do something. Please? Okay, final stretch. Final stretch. Nuclear missile. Hopefully you've done something. And... The final... So the final Merva and the Mater did the job there. So I think no matter what avenue you go down, Tier 5 is just an absolute abomination to deal with. <laughs> like with everything we've got going on, like granted these are all low degree power guns. Well, this is middle tier, but it is the cheapest power gun you can ever get but it's like we haven't really got a lot to work with like even with everything we have going on we haven't really concentrated on one good thing like this could be a lot higher if i just put some tier fours down but it is what it is but thank you all so much for watching everyone let me know what you thought of the scenario this has been truly chaotic and deserving of the trademark of a ninja kiwi moment Thank you all so much for watching and take care of yourselves, everybody! Paragons assemble!